Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys straight from Verizon's new center. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So Verizon is making uh, some additional changes to their to their leadership team. And now we uh, Verizon appoints Stacy Sharp as EVP and Chief Communications Officer. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, man, she's replacing Hans. But that was my first thought. But she is... She's succeeding someone that is retiring, and she brings a lot of experience from Allstate. Um, she was a part of their uh, uh, executive team, and now she's coming over to Verizon starting, I think this takes effect March 4th. So, you know, I, I don't know what this does for Verizon. You know, I, I still am a firm believer in that they need a brand new leadership across the board. I mean, everybody uh, needs to be taken out there. The CEO, the the CEO of Consumer Group, the uh, the CEO of Business. I mean, they 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 need a whole 360. I mean, as bad as this team has been executing, they need a 720. They need a full reverse of whatever they're doing. I mean, they aren't they aren't executing to any any scale of growth. If you look at the overall numbers. You know, even FWA, I, 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 uh, I did a breakdown with an analyst. And if you look at the total numbers, if you break that down, how much they actually grew on consumer, the growth is very little because they also grew on business. So they're not really, for the, for the amount of scale now that they, that they have on C-band, they're not really growing that much. I mean, it, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. But... T-Mobile was already growing 500,000 ads per quarter when they were at 200 million pops with mid-band. Verizon is not even getting the 400,000 yet. They're projected to get there, but they're not getting there yet. So sometimes it's really all about execution. Same on the postpaid side. The consumer group side, it's all about executing. They're not executing. The My Plan is clearly not working. Clearly not working. If it was working... They would be growing at a much higher rate consistently, not just one quarter where you spend a ton of money. No, they would be growing consistently in the market. But most of the projection models that are out there, members, you guys have seen them, have Verizon losing again. So it remains to be seen how they how they turn this around. Um, it hasn't yet happened. Um, they continue raising prices just so they can show better financials. We will see what kind of churn that leads to in Q1 and then in, in, in Q2 for consumer. And we'll, we'll definitely uh, see what happens. Again, Verizon today reports to analysts. I'll be tuned in for that, see what kind of updates we get. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. If you are new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.